Hello YouTube, Manuel here once again with another video. Today we're going to be looking at this. Well, I have my Amiga 1200 set up as you can see over here. But I also have my Commodore 1084S monitor. Now as you can see, it has a slight problem. <laughs> but this problem can be remedied just by touching the AV input, as you'll see. So what we're going to do is I'm going to tear this monitor apart, tear it down, see if we can fix the problem, and while we're at it, we'll clean it up because... It looks pretty crappy. Alright, so now we're just going to take out these screws. And in a second, I'm going to cut to time lapse and make this happen nice and quick. It was a bit of a problem getting it apart, but I did eventually crack the thing open. There's a lot of dirt in the screw holes, which caused a lot of problems. As you can see there, it fell out real quick. And there's me struggling. It's a good thing I actually made this fast. No one wants to see this in uh, normal motion, would they? <laughs> anyway, got it off. Alright, so, yep, that's definitely the problem. You can see all the solder joints around here are dry. So what we're going to do is get out the soldering iron and touch them up and see if it now produces a better video. Let's get to it. Well, here we go. Let's stab some solder on this. Yep. All right, when it's done properly, it should work. Well, the monitor's on. If I've done this correctly, it should work. Here we go. Mega's turning on. If it works, we should see the desktop. Come on. Come on, old girl, you know you got it in you. Hey, there we go. You don't have to play around with the back buttons anymore, it works. Look at that, it's quite a nice clear picture too. And there's Sonic blessing us with his presence. How about that? Now we're going to clean up the case and put it back together. And we'll have a working Commodore 1084S video monitor. Well here we go, I start with just some soapy water on a cloth. And I'm just going to scrub the back of this monitor. Most of the stuff came off relatively easily, I didn't have too much of a problem. But if you see that stuff on top, yeah, that was a real pain in the butt to get it off. I had to scrub really damn hard to get it off. I don't know what it was. It looked like some kind of rubber had decayed on it. Uh, if you know when rubber, you know, over time it just falls into a goop. And that's what had happened. But as you can see, I eventually did get it off. And I got the monitor to look pretty good. I'm, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. At this point, I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> so now I just clean up the back. And there's me fumbling around with that. The stand. Yeah, so it came out pretty nicely. Didn't have any problems. So now we're just going to put the case back on. This is me fumbling around trying to get the uh, speaker wires back in. This monitor has stereo speakers. Alright, we've got the case back on, putting the screws back in. That uh, power screwdriver, look at it go, it's so fast. And there we go. Now we're going to hit the front. Just going to clean up the screen a bit. There's a sticker on the top, we just mashed in some soapy water and hope to get it off. Look how fast I can clean, how amazing is that? Can anyone else do it this quick? Woo. But uh, as you can see, it came out pretty good. And as you, there we go. Looks pretty good. Still got a few marks on it, but nothing major. Nice and clean now. And here we go. Gonna turn it on and see how it looks. There we go. No problem at all. 
No problems with the screen, no artifacting. Unfortunately I had the exposure set a bit wrong, but there you go. No problem at all. It's good. So here's just a little look at the Amiga 1200. She's quite a pretty machine. Sad to see it was one of the last of the Amigas. I wish they had still made them. But yeah, there we go. All nicely cleaned up and looking fresh. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Marin Law out.